Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. Now today, we're going to be looking at a master beta. Now I know, you kids at home, you probably think that's a very uh, funny joke. <laughs> this is a serious YouTube channel, and it should always be taken seriously. Uh, it looks like that other word, doesn't it? God, if I keep on making jokes like that, I'll end up having a main channel that looks like this. Hell. It's like the edgy teenager's homepage. I remember when I first found Onision's channel. His comment sections are just filled with people who you expect to find on the really dark parts of Tumblr. Talking about how they're going to kill their parents. Stuff like that, you know. Classic teenagers. The prime YouTube audience. But having an audience like that means that uh, they grow up eventually. And they're no longer interested in watching your videos on abortion or... Uh, murdering children, being a paedophile for a comedy series, or just generally dressing up like a buffoon. They move on. Uh, they get bored of what's happening on your YouTube channel. Uh, but no, it obviously couldn't be that. No, it's definitely the website's fault. And you may be sat there at home going, Alex, you're the one who complains about the website. Yeah, I do. But at the same time, I do realise that uh, I'm not owed a YouTube career. My views aren't going down. My views are just worth less. Onision is watching his channel decline very fast. It's like a car crash and uh, he's the only one driving. But he believes that YouTube have taken the wheel. It seems like Onision, dare I say it, is becoming irrelevant. Now those are painful words for any YouTuber to hear. But there's certain things YouTubers do. They either adapt or they find new ways to create. Or they just start baiting people. You just go mentally insane. Now this is one of the things that DJ Keemstar has uh, has used across his many years as a YouTuber. It's the idea that there's no point in improving your content or trying to find something new when you could end up just fucking people off and hoping they talk about you. So I understand that this video is automatically flawed because Greg wins. The fact that I'm making this video means that he technically gets what he wants. That's why we're going to prove a point here. If you don't want somebody to be relevant anymore, stop talking about them. So Onision started this all when he made a video where he basically said that YouTube fired him. And in the video, he makes a statement like this. And here's the thing. Statistically, when people lose jobs, the rates of them offing themselves increases. I just want to point that out to YouTube. Bit drastic, you know? Uh, I'm gonna kill myself if my YouTube channel falls through. <coughs> but the thing is, Greg is using this incredible method of guilt tripping and and really, really emotionally manipulating his audience, the people who are dedicated to him, the people who love his content, the people who are invested in him. Because they they are. There are people invested in this man. I know, a psychiatrist really should be employed. He used that incredible bait to promote a Patreon, his shirts, and anything else that could pay him more money. He even goes on to make the claim that he wouldn't be able to afford his house. He has to pay mortgage, which implies that he isn't renting it. I'm sorry, but no one buys a house without being able to pay for it. And this man has had merch, iTunes stuff, a good million dollars in YouTube ad revenue, a steady income of 20 to 30 thousand pounds a month, and we're not even touching on sponsorships, it could be upwards of anything from 5 thousand dollars to 50 thousand, TV show appearances, ske sketches he's appeared in, so he's resorted to manipulation and lying, stuff that is not normal for most YouTubers a lot of the time. A few people employ it, they normally get caught out, but this has been a cornerstone of the Onision YouTube channel. So after all these threats he's made, saying that he's gonna kill himself, top himself, uh, after he's made fun of people who self-harm in the past. He made an update on his losing house situation two days after he said he was gonna lose his house. I don't know how that works. How, how does that work? Like, um, oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm losing my house. Uh, two days later though, not anymore. Let us see what he has to say. Hi, for once in a long time, I just wanted to release a regular old Speaks video to the Speaks channel, just talking to you guys. Um, I worked really hard on Patreon today. I have a lot more work to do. 
I'm now doing a monthly thing. So if you guys want to help me make more videos and help pay for these really necessary things like the, the set that I record at and uh, my mode of transportation to get to the sets and my house that I need for, you know, things I can't talk about because it's private life and I that's sacred. You know, believe it or not, that stuff is sacred. It's a bit ironic coming from you, isn't it? Hasn't kept anything private in his life since 2006. Now this annoys me on a mass level because they are creators like my friends Bionic Pig and Elvis the Alien. Two guys who put genuine effort into making good content who don't live in a million dollar houses, who don't have 20 grand sponsorship deals, who don't have multiple songs on iTunes since 2010, who do not have 50 million view videos, who generally need Patreon to be able to pay rent. Especially after the ad crisis. We haven't had enough time to save money to get us through this. Like, I'm looking at my paychecks and I'm going, oh, maybe, uh, maybe we won't eat food today. <laughs> Dying. Obviously, that's not the case. I'm not Onision. I'm not gonna sit here and beg like a bitch. But I am quite clearly not a millionaire who's had a fruitful career of almost 10 whole years. And even my friends. So he is preying on the fact that these smaller creators need money to fund his multiple million subscriber YouTube channels. That doesn't sit right with me in any way, shape or form. Now, this is the man who made How Do Women Violate Men? Is it even possible? Question mark. With this fucking mustache on his face. So, I'm looking at him, I'm looking at everything he says and going, maybe he's trying to stir up a conversation so he could bring the views back because that is currently what he's lacking. This man doesn't need money, nor do I really believe that he cares about it too much. I just believe that this man is really, really, really desperate for attention. Now money comes with attention, but right now, there's not really much money up for grabs. He just wants to be relevant again. Because do you know what's more dangerous about losing your money? Losing your relevancy. You could take somebody's ad revenue away, but if you take their relevancy away, they are nobody anymore. And this is why he is the master beta. Because since then, he has only attacked trending channels. I see my boy, my best friend Niall, appearing in a thumbnail here. Women are attacking! Exclamation mark. This is the man who rated 15 year old girls on his Tumblr blog. So if you're not really getting it at this point, he doesn't give a fuck. Like, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about what you have to say. He doesn't care about your response. He knows he's a hypocrite. That's why people talk about him. Because people like proving other people wrong. So the more wrong he is, the more people have to intervene and go, Hey Greg, you're a bit of a dumb cunt. And he goes, Yes, keep all calling me a dumb cunt, it's good. Now obviously I've fallen in the trap multiple times, but that's normally because I feel like he's really crossed a line that definitely deserves a banable offence. I feel no pity for the fact that he's lost his ad revenue, let alone the fact that he's losing his relevancy. Good on him. I hope your channel dies. And I never normally say that. I wouldn't even wish that on some of my greatest enemies. But this guy... This guy is pushing the boundaries. I know that's a big statement, but at the same time, I strongly dislike a man who, when his channel is failing, he results to trying to become the most hated man on the platform to stay relevant. Playing the supervillain is untalented and easy. Anybody could give out the edgy opinion. Anybody could make themselves hated. This isn't a talent, and this is probably why people stop watching you. It really shines through that your content is dried up when you have to create a personality to be able to survive. Because that is exactly what Onision is doing. Talking about our man DJ Killer Gamestar, Greg has actually decided to go after him, where he compares Keemstar and iDubs in some type of desperate attempt for views. And people say commentary channels are desperate. I do not believe we will be seeing many videos from Onision that will be of anything of worth, anything actually interesting, or don't contain a YouTube's name in the title. Uh, that may be ironic. At least I try and withhold some form of moral compass, instead of just desperately clawing at anything that I could find. A YouTube channel is about personality, and if you don't even set yourself standards, then there's no personality there at all. 
Now, due to the fact that I'm going to kill myself if I don't make enough money, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has pledged to the Patreon. We actually passed through enough money to be able to pay rent for my million dollar mansion. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to use that to also pay for the limousine, to the studio and back. We'll see how it goes. But thank you to my Patreons. Especially to Simon Ainsley, Omega, Rachel, Stat Track Jack, Adam, The Dragon Overseer, Limitless, I'm Costa Long, Nathaniel, Nerd City, GSCO, Michael, Lucas Moore, to Jesse, King Wolf, Lando, Robert Jenkels, YouTuber, That's Comet, Sparky Eric, Peter is Cool, Ellis Allen, Crystal Mellon, McKendra Ellen, Bujovic, Abraham, the French guy, Undead Rat Mother, and Glitch Pro. That's it from me, guys. I will see you in the next one, depending on whether I'm here and still breathing. Times are tough, and I can only afford 79p cookies from Tesco. I really don't know what else to say. I'll see you guys soon when I make a video on iDubs, Pyrocynical, H3H3 H3 Productions and also Daniel Kidd, as I rate, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much I'd suck their cock off for a shout out right now, because it's desperate times and I'm in need. Please content copy.